Hello everybody, today I'm working through the first exemplar question that I found in the educators preparation booklet on the NBT website. So let's get going. They, they are saying that the function f defined by this equation, negative x squared plus 6x minus 5, let me just highlight that, f of x is negative x squared plus 6x minus 5 has, and now we need to choose. Now guys, don't be fooled. Just because it's a multiple choice question doesn't mean that you don't have to do any working, all right? So some of you might be able to answer this question without doing any working, but I'm just going to write a few things down. If we have negative x squared plus 6x minus 5, if we look at the a value, the number in front of x squared, that is a negative number. That tells us that we are going to have a downward facing parabola. Now the turning point of this parabola is going to be its maximum y value. So that means that we know that we are either going to be working with question B or option B or option D. Those are the two options that we actually have to choose from. So now let's see what else are they saying. A maximum y value for B and a positive y intercept or for D a maximum y value and a negative y intercept. Now if you remember that the standard form of a parabola a quadratic equation looks like this y equals ax squared plus bx plus c the c value is your y intercept because remember how do we find a y intercept by making x equal to zero that is what you can do in any graph to find the y intercept you need to make x equal to zero and if this is zero and this is also zero these terms are going to fall away completely those terms are both going to be equal to zero i'm going to be left with c over only. So the y-intercept is going to be c. Now this equation has a c value of negative 5, meaning that it has a negative y-intercept. So for this question, the correct answer is going to be option d. This function has a maximum y-value and a negative y-intercept.